It's the 17th of October 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets with your daily Gold Market update and charts of the day. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news. Of course, we saw a strong session in the US overnight on the back of some earnings optimism. We are still fairly early in the process with only a handful of S&P 500 components reporting, less than 10% actually. But we do see results coming in fairly favorably so far. We have some big banks again reporting tonight, including Goldman Sachs and Bank of America, for example. We do see a ramp up of earnings season in the next few days, and we suspect that we might get surprises to the upside. US futures are pretty near neutral in trading in a very choppy morning in Asia. Asian markets are generally higher. I think the only index to the downside is the Shanghai. Following that lead from Wall Street, the ASX is trading between about 0.4 and 0.5% to the upside. With the VIX lower and European futures pointing to a mildly positive open at this stage. The US dollar index moved slightly lower, but that didn't benefit commodities much. We saw gold retrace, copper just about holding over support, and oil also pausing in yesterday's session. Uh, Bitcoin was very choppy yesterday, but ended up positively in an and Interestingly, over a key resistance level, it'll be interesting to see where that goes today. But we did see it spike up to 30,000 on the CFD contract before pulling back down to around about 28 by the end of the session. Earnings will be in focus, as I said. Uh, today already we've had soft CPI data coming out of New Zealand, which has made the Kiwi weak. We also had some RBA minutes released, which seem to be responded to positively for the AUD in currency markets. Later on, we've got US retail sales, Canadian CPI, European economic sentiment, and a couple of the Fed members are speaking later today. But it will be earnings at the focus and will dictate to some degree, I think, where we end up by the end of the session tonight. A couple of charts are quite all right. Uh, we like the Construction space and Bora Limited have had a breach of a key level at 463, trading around 469 at this stage and towards the highs of the session. You can see most of the moving averages have crossed after this significant down move, a find of support at 430, and then this bounce we've seen over the last couple of weeks. This break here could be important. We see potential upside in this back up towards this sort of five dollar level which would be around about six percent from where it's trading right now so that's certainly one to keep on your radar perhaps look in the last hour of the trading session in the fx world we saw some strength in the aussie dollar this morning and this is persevering we can see here that against the euro on the 30 minute chart we had that down move in the euro on that aud strength and possibly a test of the low hit earlier in the session at around about 166 if we break 166 then there could be significant downside in this. I would suspect that the major drop and more higher probability trade would be if it breaches this S2 level at 165.88, where there subsequently may be a 40 to 50 pip move to the downside. So again, one to keep an eye on, particularly I would suspect once European markets open. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.